Hey, this is Sean with Troxel Services, and today you're going to watch a video, and we're actually going to show you three different types of fabric and the different purposes for them. The three different types of fabric are going to be a combination of strength, but what's called permeability. How well does it drain? So for you landscapers and homeowners out there, this is very important. You want to know what type of fabric to use in different scenarios. Stay tuned. So explaining the three different types of fabric, you can see we're going to look at three different options and we're going to test them. Number one is really your average landscaping fabric, keyword non-woven. I know you've heard that before, probably non-woven versus woven. Today we're going to explain that a bit better for you. The second fabric is a 5.8 ounce, so fairly heavy duty landscaping fabric that's woven. All right, that's, it looks a little more plasticky, things like that. The third one is what's called a geotextile fabric. It's typically more expensive, used for French drains, also heavy duty, but it's non-woven. Which one do you think is going to allow more water to pass through? That's permeability, more water to pass through. You want that in many scenarios, such as French drains, and in your flower beds, you don't want water pooling up. You want strength in your fabric so it doesn't deteriorate over time. Can you have both? Can you have the best of both worlds? We're about to find out. This right here is, is item number one. This is a regular landscaping fabric. So just think fairly affordable, lots of different grades of this. You can kind of almost see through it, but this is better than most. It's average, slightly above average, regular landscaping fabric. Let's see how well it drains through our little test scenario here. Thank you, Micah. It's just under two gallons in here and we're gonna pour it. And I want you to note, as I pour this, it's going through not too bad. It's pooling up a little bit, but it's going through not too bad. Now remember, we're testing out right now what's called the non-woven regular landscaping fabric okay now we're going to show you what this does if we put it on a five gallon bucket it will continue to drain that first gallon drained in about let's say 15 seconds or so that first gallon drained and then it is going to be a trickle all right we're going to go ahead and let this out the rest of it out mike and caleb you can put it in our little depository uh box there the next one we have on the list, we can check that off because we're done with that, is the 5.8 ounce woven. Now, so this right here, it's a plastic and you can actually see the weaves. You can see the weaves on it and it's a woven fabric. I'll go ahead and let the cat out of the bag. It's a little stronger. So you might see this in walkways, pathways. It could be underneath your paver base as you're putting paver down. But should you use it with, let's say, French drains? That's a great question because you want water to rush into your French drain, but you want a soil separator. So let's see what this does. All right, here you go. All right, so I'm pouring this first gallon in. I don't see it moving all that fast. Maybe we can look at the bottom and see how much it's moving at the bottom. Now, this is so critical, imagine Imagine you wanted to put this woven fabric around your French drain. So landscapers, never, ever, ever use woven fabric around your French drains. Now, there is one asterisk to that. There are some advertised woven fabric that will drain a bit better. But this is your standard woven fabric. Now, why would you use this? It still does drain. It takes a long time, but it drains, but it holds up better to foot traffic and it's a bit more durable over time. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and let this down once again. Now that type of fabric is about the same price. It might be 40 to $50 for 200 feet uh, thereabout. So it's still affordable. Now we're gonna go to something that costs a little bit more. It's advertised as geofabric and it is also a non-woven. So Micah and Caleb are gonna set that up. Now on first glance, it looks really thick. It looks really thick, and uh, this is geofabric. It costs 
more like 90 or 100 or 120 dollars and you can see here like i can't see through this at all it's fairly thick this is a six ounce geotextile fabric all right so we're gonna do the same test two gallons here we go make sure it doesn't hit the edge there guys lift it up on this there we go It's gone. I mean, look at this. You can look at this up close. It is completely gone. Two gallons shot through here. So yes, it's double the money, but you have to wrap your French drains in a geotextile non-woven. That's the only way for the water to rush through at the rate that it needs to. But once again, if it's woven, it's typically more durable. If it's non-woven, you can get the heavier duty version and it'll be pretty dur durable and, and you're gonna have to pay more, but it's gonna be very permeable. The geotextile is a very special kind of fabric. You can look it up on why it's called geotextile, but the key is that it's, it's advertised as that, it's non-woven, it's typically gonna be twice as much money, but you just saw the difference. It's absolutely huge. I hope this has helped. We're gonna show you one more example right here with a five gallon bucket that I want you to see as well so you can see the difference. And then uh, that will help you. So we're gonna do that real quick. So for this test, we're gonna test out all three again, but we're gonna just show a different type of drainage. So we have a empty five gallon bucket right here and we'll put a bungee on it. We have that first fabric. This is the average landscaping fabric. Let's see what it does. Okay, similar result. The first gallon seems to be going in and actually draining, you can hear it. And I'm able to pour all two gallons in. So you can actually hear it drain and it's gonna be a slow drain. So that first gallon might go through in 15 seconds. And then the last gallon might go through over the next 45 to 60 seconds. That's what we're, we're typically seeing. All right, now we're gonna try the other one here. This is just an average woven. You see it's got a plasticky kind of look to it. You can actually see the weaves in it. So it's called woven for a reason. The other one might be called non-woven or punched. You might hear the term punched. It's punched for permeability. This is woven. All right, now we're gonna test this one out. Let's, we're gonna dump all this out so we have just the exact same scenario, a, a empty five gallon bucket and we'll see what happens here. Empty five gallon bucket, this is the woven. You'll remember this from the previous test. <clears throat> okay, now it's draining, but it's not draining as fast. In fact, it's much, much slower. You can see it's gone down maybe an inch, two inches. I haven't even poured the rest of it in. So I'm gonna try to pour the rest of it in here. But again, this is nothing to be uh, shocked about. We just did the test on the other side. It's just nice to see it in another scenario as well. We can see that the woven drains much slower. So we're looking at it one more time and we're just gonna have to dump this water out. It's taking too long. Now it is draining ever so slightly. And again, it's stronger than other material and it's not as expensive as the geotextile. But let's try the geotextile and see what happens in the bucket test. The geotextile is more expensive. It's about twice as expensive. And you can get it in uh, what's called ounces, heavier ounces. And that would be uh, helpful if you wanted a heavier duty version of it. But let's see what the non-woven geotextile does in the bucket test. Okay, that is absolutely shocking. I know it's doing what it's supposed to, but just by looking at it visually, you would never think that that was the case. So this once again proves that there's differences in the fabric, differences in the strength, differences in the cost. The geotextile drained two gallons in about seven or eight seconds. I hope that's helped.
Thanks for watching. Subscribe and like if you want this type of content. We'll see you next time.